Hello and welcome to another episode of Stacked. Today is kind of a special episode because I revisit the This Heavy Earth Crusty Fiction, but this time it's the newest and current version, version 4.2, whereas in my previous review I had the old version and I had some negative aspects, well, negative aspects, and Shia messaged me and told me that he totally got rid of all those with version 4.2. So today we're doing things a bit different. I simply play around with the crusty fiction. And if you want to see a comparison, well, sorry, I want to do it this way. My signal chain is a bit different than usually. Uh, I start with my Black Hat Custom, then I go into the Crusty Fiction and from there I go into my Fractal Audio XFX3 and there I've enabled the Brit Pre Amp. It's basically um, modeled after the Marshall JMP1. It's actually that simple. Uh, gain is at 6, base 5, mid 6, travel 5, present 5. And nothing special. From there we go into the cabinet and I've chosen my favorite Jens Bogren IR, it's the Greasy Bird IR. And from there we go into the output. And here is the sound without the crusty fiction. <laughs> So, and I think this is a very good platform for an HM2 sound because I prefer my HM2s in front of a driven amp. I might add an overdrive later on, however, uh, I'll keep you updated of course, however for now I will try it with just the crusty fiction. Those knobs are kinda dialed, well, let's actually set everything to noon, except this one here and this one here and bland. Okay, so let's start and toying around with those knobs. <laughs> With those three examples, you should already consider buying one. Uh, the low mid is so versatile, we get three totally different chains of flavors and uh, whether you want it scooped or you want it uh, mid focus warm, uh, I think there is plenty of sound for everybody here. I actually prefer it with the low mid style in, so we'll keep it this way. Uh, high mid is of course the chainsaw frequency and this is low. Yes, this is low for the punchy bass. Now let's play around with the other knobs and find out what they do if they benefit the sound or if they can be neglected. <laughs> Thank you. 
So let's uh, recap here. The level is actually um, quite tempting to crank it, but when you crank it, I think you get this pumping effect. So I'll keep it around noon. I think that it's sounding best. With the highs, you can actually create lots of additional distortion. So I think I could crank, I could crank them more, but the high distortion is uh, easy to dial in uh, incorrectly and then it gets very harsh. So let's leave it here. Gain is actually quite cool as it is here. <laughs> you, you could always add more, but I don't think it's really necessary. And the clip control here, it's again a bit more aggressive when you add more of the clip. But for me, this is totally enough here. The gate, by the way, works awesome. So, perfect for me. What I haven't uh, tried out yet is the blend. However, I think I could use some blend because, especially with those fast uh, tremolo picking, the sound was a bit muddy. So, maybe I try to add some clarity here. Let's try this out actually and maybe I'll do some more knob twist. Yes, I really think the sound benefits from a bit blended in single. Uh, this is actually the first pedal where I like that I have an additional gain control for the clean single because I basically crank the shit out of it and then I dial it, I dial in enough chainsaw that the clarity, I still have the clarity with a bit more distorted a clean single than I would normally have, basically doing the same as I would have done with an overdrive, but without needing one. And then, well, adding the chainsaw, and then it really sounds awesome. I can get more extreme with the settings when you just blend the uh, HM2 sound or the chainsaw sound, because obviously you have the clean sound that um, takes over the clarity and the note definition and whatsoever. Uh, however, I still prefer it with the low mids, How, uh, although I might be fooled due to the volume differences there are. And apart from that, I think I, I, I dealt in more highs, because, as I said, the more extreme the setting. And I haven't toyed around with the internal trim controls. You have a uh, load of internal trim controls where you can even tweak the sound further, but I don't think this is necessary because 
right now the crucifixion sounds enormously good and well i've previously brought out my top 10 hm2 panels and i should have included the crucifixion in this new version i didn't quite heat up with the old version maybe i spent too little time with it but with this one should definitely be on the list in 2024. Actually, a lot of guy, a lot of you guys uh, said that the Crucifixion is one of your top favorite HM2 pedals. So, and now <laughs> it's mine as well. So, what do you think about the newest version of the Crucifixion, or what do you think about this sound in general? Let me know down in the comment section. And as always, if you want to support this channel, you might want to check out the links in the description or you might want to consider becoming a YouTube member. I recently started to add members exclusive videos that are interesting, maybe? They are definitely nerdy, that's what I can tell you. And uh, yeah, with this being said, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, may the force be with you and have a nice day.